Praise the Lord, and good morning to you on this Wednesday morning. Thank you for joining me for our morning prayer and devotion. Dee Dee Seelert's sister, Julie, and her husband, Paul, and son, Ryan, have pretty much recovered from COVID, and I'm glad to be able to share that wonderful praise report with you this morning. We do have many things to be praying about today, and I want to focus, first of all, on the spiritual needs and needs that are going on in families today, we need to remember in our prayers today, Charles and Amber Gossett, Barbara Owens, Jennifer and Brenda's family, Andrea Perkins, who has a special unspoken need, Baby G's adoption, Annette and Dave need healing in their marriage, Grace's best friend's family and Grace's circle of friends uh, who need salvation, James and Angela Graham and their family, Sheila Outlaw, Mark and Caitlin, the Sappington family, Regina Marlin's family, Art Chandler, Beulah's family, Caroline Sexton's family, Alicia, D.D. Sealer's biological father and his family, the Rush family with an unspoken need, Marcia and Britt Moore need prayers for all their children and their granddaughter, and especially for direction for their son Josh. Uh, Marcia's friend and her family were believing for their salvation. Debbie Biddick's family needs our prayers today. Our Mingo RCF residents and Mingo Job Corps students, Judy and Mike Williams family. Uh, they have special unspoken requests for their grandson, Michael, granddaughter, Rebecca, and for Rebecca's mother, Dana. We need to remember Cheryl LaChance's family, family member, Josiah, Terry Adams' children, Pam Pulliam's children, and we need to be praying for all those who are in need of deliverance from addiction. Whatever the spiritual need today, whatever the emotional need, uh, God cares about it today and he wants us to be completely whole. So we're believing for backsliders to come back to God. We're believing for revival in our communities. We're believing for those who are discouraged today to be strengthened in their faith. We need to pray for North American missionaries, Pastor Aaron and Sister Rachel Castillo in the Keystone Apostolic Church in Springfield, Missouri. This is a fledgling work. Uh, that they are raising up there. We're praying God's blessings over them today. Also, a new Burmese preaching point in uh, Bevo Mill, Missouri. Pastor Thong and Sister Nuko Sang uh, pastoring there. And this is a work sponsored by Pastor Ernest Martinez uh, in Chesterfield. Victor Jackson and his family are starting a new work in the Orlando area, and they need our prayer covering as well. We're praying this morning for peace and comfort for some families who have just suffered great loss. The Ogilvy family needs our prayers for peace and comfort today as Michelle's sister Lisa passed away Monday morning. Uh, Gerald Hudson passed away Sunday evening. This is Michelle Walker's grandfather, and we need to pray for comfort for Michelle, for her mother, Betty Cossey, and all of their family. Uh, Shane May passed away Sunday night as well after a strenuous bout of pneumonia. So let's keep praying for his family today. We have many health needs to pray about. Regina Bishop, Shirley Garner, Judy Williams' sister Mary, Shirley Ruminer, Kevin Gossett, Brother and Sister Pulliam's granddaughter Morgan, Meredith, Jimmy Holden, Bobby Larming, and Nicole all need a healing touch. Pastor Mickey Lewis is having a CT scan today to determine the cause of temporary blindness he experienced in one of his eyes recently. Uh, Debbie Biddick's friend, Lori Gravel, is having painful back problems and spasms. Uh, Pam Poyum's daughter, Jenny, has osteoporosis in the spine and hips. Others who are suffering with back, back pain today include Tammy Lawson, Bob O, Melena Cummins, Britt Moore, James Graham, Terry Adams, and Michael Parrott, Renee, has mobility issues due to problems with their hips and knees. Barbara Owens and Bob Perkins suffer with shingles. Uh, Jamie Jo Day needs healing of her liver. We have several who are currently battling or in stages of recovery from COVID. William and Grover Strasener, J.B. Goforth's sister, LaVon, who's been on a ventilator. Uh, Miss Angie now recovering at home from COVID pneumonia. Uh, John Vaughn with COVID and flu, Pastor Carl Adams, Jessica and Mike Coatney, um, who um, 
I have basically recovered now as we reported to you this morning. Uh, Zechariah Osgood's dad, Judy Johnson's sister, Jenny and her family, uh, Carmen's Aunt Norma for continued improvement, and Dee Dee's nine-month-old great-niece Emery and now Emery's mother Kaylee uh, both have COVID. Uh, Don and Betty Cossey have chronic issues with bronchitis. Robbie Northrup and Kendra Ortiz suffer with COPD. Those who are battling cancer include Alicia Piero, Diane Escher, Claire, Marsha Moore's friend's grandparents, Jenny Coffey, James Graham's aunt, Kathy Bloss, Aaron Payne, Kathy Burks, Dennis Phelps, Sylvia Larimore, Kay, Ari Bowers, Edie Percival, um, a friend of mine who has been diagnosed with stage four breast cancer, Nathan Van Ingman, Lisa Workman, Christy Smith, also with stage four breast cancer and liver cancer, a friend of Terry Adams, Michael Boland, Monica Harmon with inoperable lung cancer, Linda Fox, Del Bishop, Lydia, Philip Randall with a tumor on the colon, Tanya Schutz who had thyroid surgery recently and is recovering from that and we're believing for a cancer-free diagnosis for her and also Dwayne Lewis. Those with heart issues include baby Elsie, Penny Hudson, Jake Billingsley, Pastor Steve Sullivan's father, Cheryl LaChance, Kenny Prenzel, and Brenda Storm's friend, Melvin. Zach Osgood's brother, we're believing for healing for him of seizure disorder. We're believing for healing of GI issues for Heather Spence, Michael Parrott, Olivia, Terry Adams, Regina Marlin's granddaughter, Aubrey, and Kristen's neighbor, Natalie, who also needs healing of diabetes. J.R. Johnson needs healing of diabetes. He's also been in the hospital recently with pneumonia. Others with diabetes, Terry Adams' friend, Marsha, Tim Workman, Emily Stanley, Cheryl LaChance, Brother Pulliam, Christian Carr, and Titus Dornbach, and myself. Jim Connor is needing a kidney transplant. Brother Virgil Pulliam's brother needs healing of his, of his kidneys, as well as healing of the pancreas and liver. Brother Marty DeLotte and Brother Riley March need healing of MS. My mother-in-law, Beulah Ziegler, my dad, Ron Bryant, uh, Russ, and Tim Workman all need healing of Parkinson's. We're believing for continued recovery today for baby Brantley Joe, who's recovering from recent open heart surgery. We're believing for Megan Rackley as she continues to recover from injuries sustained in a tornado. Eric Williams had ankle surgery, major ankle surgery, and faces a six-month stint of rehab. Anita broke her neck recently. Russ uh, broke his clavicle. We're believing for full recovery for both of them and quick recovery. Sheila Sappington, Tina's mother, Carmen's cousins Kelly and Shannon, and evangelist Billy Huey are all recovering from stroke. Uh, Sister Judy, we've been praying for as she recovers from a sinus infection, and I saw she just posted here on our prayer feed that she is feeling much, much better. We give the Lord praise for that today. Uh, we're praying for Chloe Isaac, who is preparing to move to Georgia and will be starting immunoglobulin infusion therapy uh, once she gets there. Melena Cummins, Beth Wheatley, and Marsha Moore all need healing of migraine headaches. Jasmine Fields has been dealing with premature labor, uh, so it's prayer covering over her and her child this morning. Uh, and also children needing our prayers today. Tucker, Jenna, Laura and Myra all battling cancer. Abel Ray with PKU syndrome. Tano Lopez with spina bifida. Abram Page, who was born with GNA01 disorder, a very, very uh, rare disorder that he needs healing of. And Grady Sappington's grandson has had some developmental issues and uh, he's less than two years old. We're praying for him to begin to hit those milestones um, that he needs to uh, be achieving. JB Goforth remains on hospice care, so let's continue to remember JB and his family today as well. Well, good morning to each of you. Good to see you today with us. Uh, Sister Marsha, uh, Brother and Sister Pulliam with us today, Carmen and Sherman. Thank God for each of you. Uh, Judy with us today, and we're celebrating with you your praise report this morning. God bless each of you who are a part of our prayer ministry, 
and it definitely is a ministry and a, a thing that requires dedication and and I want to honor you for that dedication this morning uh, joining me at this early hour as you're preparing to go about your day some of you on your way to work and uh, catching this however you can uh, on the way and others who will be joining us um, as it permits in their schedule later on today we want to make sure and welcome you good to see you this morning penny just signing on here with us as we get ready to go to devotion and let's look to first corinthians chapter 12 first corinthians chapter 12 we're going to read verses 24 through 26 this morning for our comely parts have no need but god hath tempered the body together together having given more abundant honor to that part which lacked, that there should be no schism in the body, but that the members should have the same care for one another. And whether one member suffer, all the members suffer with it, or one member be honored, all the members rejoice with it. I know that we all want to do something great uh, for the kingdom of God, and perhaps uh, you feel particular callings upon your life. At an early age, I felt the calling to preach the gospel. Uh, perhaps you feel a calling to teach a Sunday school class, um, to be involved in helps and hospitality ministry, uh, to sing uh, on a worship team. So many things that we can be involved in in ministry in the church, and we can do things for God. Maybe uh, someone feels a calling to be a missionary and on and on the list goes uh, there's certainly uh, no limits there's no narrowness to the different things that can be done in the body just as there's so many different parts of the human body there's so many different parts of the spiritual body of Christ when we feel called to do a work for God it's always good for us to uh, pray and ask the Lord to direct each step of the way. And every great endeavor in the kingdom of God is born in prayer. Let me say that again. Everything that we do for God that's going to amount to anything, it must be born in prayer. And in writing uh, to the church at Corinth, the Apostle Paul shared ways for the saints to do great things for the kingdom. And one of the things that Paul specifically mentioned here was uh, unity. Paul had a desire that all the saints would care for one another and that there would be no divisions in the body, no divisions in the church. And, you know, the prayer of Jesus Christ uh, during his final hours before the crucifixion was that those who would believe his word would be unified. John 17, I believe, verse 22 and verse 23 so if we want to do great things for the kingdom, and we do, this is how that we can accomplish much. The first thing we should do is attempt to be a unifier. It's one of the best ways to have an impact in this earthly life is to promote unity every way that we can. It may seem to be a small thing, but it's really a great thing because uh, the psalmist said that where there's unity, God has commanded life and God has commanded blessing. So let's thank the Lord this morning for placing that desire in our heart to do great things in his kingdom. I know that you're called to prayer ministry or you wouldn't be here today. Let's pray today for unity and that we would be facilitators of unity, that we could be used of God to be a blessing to his kingdom in a greater way than ever before. Lord, we thank you today for the richness of your grace. Lord, for your loving kindness, for your mercy toward us. Lord, you picked us up out of a, a deep, dark pit. You set us upon a solid rock. We thank you, Lord, for how you've shown mercy to us. Help us now, Lord, to bring unity to your people. Lord, to be peacemakers, to be those, Lord, who try to bring people together and try to understand where people are coming from and to be a blessing to them. Lord, I know that this prayer team is very important in this regard because it's here that sensitivity to your spirit and to your desire is born. And we pray today, God, that we would have that same passion for souls and for the work of your kingdom, Lord, that you have. Oh, hallelujah. Use us today. We submit our will 
to your will today. We pray your kingdom come, your will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Oh, we worship you today, Father. We bless your name. We glorify you. We invite your presence into this prayer gathering right now, Lord, that you would just have your perfect way in our lives. Help us, God, today, Lord, not only in these moments, but throughout our day to be connected to your presence, to be walking in your will, to be used of you. Lord, there's so many spiritual needs today that we're dealing with. We pray, God, that you would help us, uh, Lord, to place these things in your hand and believe for victory, believe for salvation, believe for healing of wounded spirits today, believe for healing mentally and emotionally today, as well as spiritually and physically. We pray today for Charles and Amber Gossett and Barbara Owens, for Jennifer and Brenda's family, that revival would continue there. We pray for Andrea today, Lord. You see the things that she's dealing with in her life today, the personal issues, Lord, as she struggles to continue to grow in you. We pray, God, that your will would be done in her life today. We pray for baby G's adoption, Lord, that everything would go through according to your will. We lift up Annette and Dave, Lord, believing for complete healing in their marriage. We pray for Grace's best friend's family, that there would be reconciliation there. We pray for Grace's friends, Lord, that they would receive salvation. We pray for James and Angela and their family today, God, that you would work in their lives, draw them, Lord, to your house and work in, in them today. We pray for Sheila, Lord, that she would have that closer walk with you that she desires. We pray for Mark and Caitlin, Lord, for their spiritual well-being today, the Sappington family, Regina's family, and Art Chandler. We pray for Beulah's family, for Caroline Sexton's family, for Alicia, for Dee Dee Sealert's biological father and his family. We pray for Rebecca Rush today, Lord, for this unspoken need that she's concerned about. We pray for Marcia and Britt, Lord, for continued direction in their son Josh's situation. We pray, Lord, for their children today, that you would move in their lives and their families. We, Lord, we pray today for Marcia's friend and her family, for salvation, for Debbie Biddick's family, for our Mingo RCF residents and for Mingo Job Corps students today. We pray for Judy and Mike's family. We pray, God, for their grandson, Michael, their granddaughter, Rebecca. We lift up Rebecca's mother, Dana. Lord, you see her struggle today. Lord, she needs her life turned around. We pray, God, for her salvation in Jesus' name. We pray for Cheryl's family. We pray for Josiah and for Sister Terry Adams' children today to return to you. For Pam Pulliam's children, Lord. We pray for those uh, who are bound by various addictions, Lord, that those chains would be broken this morning in Jesus' name. We believe you for revival, Lord, in our churches, uh, Lord, whether they're established works or brand new works, uh, preaching points, daughter works, uh, uh, North American mission works, uh, our global missionaries today, they all need your help, Lord. We pray God, that you would move in every church, move in our midweek services tonight, God. Oh, let your will be done in every class. Let your will be done as your word is taught today. In Jesus' name, we pray, Lord, for peace and comfort for the Ogilvy family, for Michelle's family today, God. We pray for Betty, Lord, for all of their family as they mourn the loss of Michelle's grandpa and, and Betty's dad today. We pray for the May family, God, that you would comfort their hearts in their loss as well. In Jesus' name, Lord, you see every health situation today. You see Regina Bishop and Shirley Garner, Judy's sister Mary, Shirley Ruminer and Kevin Gossett, Brother Sister Pulliam's granddaughter Morgan needs your touch today. We pray for Meredith and Jimmy Holden, for Bobby Larmy and Nicole, Lord, that they would receive that healing touch that they need today. We lift up Pastor Mickey Lewis this morning. We pray that he would have good results from this CT scan, that if there's any danger to his eyes, Lord, that they would be able to find the source of that and eliminate it. We pray for those with back pain and back issues today. We pray for Lori Gravel, Lord, for these spasms that she's experiencing, this pain that she's having, Lord, that it would leave her body today and not return. We pray for Pam's daughter, Jenny, for Tammy Lawson, for Melena, and for Bob O, for Britt Moore, and for James Graham, 
for Terry Adams and for Michael Parrott. Lord, we believe for complete healing of every back problem right now. We pray, God, for Renee, for healing of her hips and knees, for Barbara and Bob, for healing of shingles today. We pray for Jamie Jo, Lord, that she would receive healing of her liver right now. Those who are dealing with COVID, Lord, we pray, God, for healing for them. Lord, we pray for those on ventilators today that they're, they would be able to breathe on their own, that their oxygen saturations would correct, Lord, and come to the right level so that they would fully recover in Jesus' name. We pray for Don and Betty Cossey today, Lord, for healing of bronchitis, for Robbie and Kendra, for healing of COPD. Lord, each one who's battling cancer today, you've heard every name that we've called out today in this in this prayer meeting, Lord, and your arm is not shortened. Your ear is not heavy today. You are our healer and our deliverer. You are our savior today. Oh, God, come now and deliver, we pray. Hallelujah, Lord. Let your healing virtue flow right now. We trust in you, Lord. We give you praise. We thank you for your touch that we sense right now. We pray for those with heart issues today. But we believe for baby Elsie and Penny Hudson, for Jake Billingsley, for Pastor Sullivan's dad, for Cheryl and Kenny, and for Melvin today. We pray for Zach's brother for healing of seizures. We pray for those with GI issues today. Touch Heather and Michael, Olivia and Terry and Aubrey. We pray for Kristen's neighbor, Natalie, Lord, for healing of her stomach issues, healing of diabetes, Lord, that her family would be strengthened today. We pray for J.R. Johnson for healing of diabetes and pneumonia. Lord, for Terry's friend, Marsha, for Tim Workman and Emily Stanley, for Cheryl Chance and Brother Pulliam, for Christian and Titus, Lord, for myself today and others who are battling with diabetes, we believe for complete healing in the name of Jesus. We pray, God, for those with kidney issues. Lord, touch Brother Pulliam's brother right now. Touch Jim Connor in Jesus' name. We pray for Brother Delot and Brother March, for those who suffer with MS, God, that you would touch their bodies today. Hallelujah. You are the supplier. You are the provider. You are able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think. And we thank you, Lord, for that understanding from your word today. Hallelujah. We pray, God, for those with Parkinson's disease, Tim and Russ, and my dad, my mother-in-law, they need your touch today. We pray, Lord, for continued recovery for baby Brantley Joe and, and for Megan Rackley, for Eric Williams, uh, for Russ and Anita, for Sheila, for Tina's mother, for Carmen's cousins, Kelly and Shannon, and for Brother Huey today. Lord, you are able, God, to make them completely whole. And we thank you, God, for your touch for them today. We thank you, Lord, for every stripe that you took upon your back to purchase our healing. We thank you for Calvary where you nailed our sins and our diseases to that cross. Oh, hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for touching Sister Judy, Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you, God, that she's feeling better today. We pray, God, for Chloe right now, that you would just strengthen her, that you would touch her body and her mind. Lord, encourage her that she's preparing for this move and this change in her life and for these immunoglobulin treatments. God, we pray that you would just work for her today. We pray for Beth, Lord, that you would minister healing to her body, healing of migraines. We pray that for Marcia and for Melena as well today. We pray for Jasmine Fields today, Lord, that she would be able to carry this child uh, to healthy delivery. We pray, Lord, for these children who are suffering in body today. You see Myra and Lorelei, Jenna and Tucker, they need your healing of cancer today. God, work a miracle for them in Jesus' name. We pray for Abel Ray for Tano Lopez, for Abram Page, for Grady's grandson today, Lord, that they would receive a miracle touch. We pray for JB this morning, Lord, as he's on hospice care, Lord, that you would continue, Lord, just to minister to him and his family to give them strength today. Hallelujah. Let your presence be in that room where he's at right now and minister to him in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for your touch. We give you glory this morning. We give you praise. Hallelujah for what you're doing. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, amen. God bless you this morning. Thank you for praying with me once again.
And I so look forward to this each and every weekday morning. Tomorrow morning, we'll join together once again at 7.30 a.m. Until then, have a blessed day. And for those who have midweek services, uh, have a great uh, time in the presence of the Lord with other believers tonight. And we'll see you again tomorrow morning.